Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. And tonight, what are we doing? Well, let's see what we're doing here. Oh yeah. Cassiero del Diablo Pinot Grigio 2014 from Chile. Uh, $9.49 is what I paid for it. And the ABV, if I can find it, is 12.5%. Now, Pinot Grigio is originally from France, and they did a uh, genetic test on it at the University of California and found that it is very, very similar to Pinot Noir, and they feel like the color difference of the grape, Pinot Noir being red, and Pinot Grigio being anywhere from yellow green to a copper color um, it was just a mutation so it originated in France and then it was uh, brought to Switzerland it became very popular and Switzerland of course borders uh, Italy and uh, the Italians kind of took the ball and ran with it the French called it Pinot Gris and the Italians call it Pinot Grigio um, it's grown around the world um, in different places. <clears throat> um, sometimes they malolactic, uh, use malolactic fermentation on it like they do Chardonnay. It makes it um, a little more of a uh, oily or thicker mouthfeel, a little smoother, a little buttery. This one is not done that way, so this should be fresh, crisp, really easy to drink. I think a Pinot is kind of easy to drink. And this has no contact with any, you know, any kind of colored skin or anything like that. You know, it's just uh, so there's no um, tannin or anything, no oak aging. Um, it should be fresh and crisp and clean. So uh, let's try it. Pour it. This had a screw cap, uh, which is fine with me. I'll tell you right now, it is very. You can see it up against my white shirt. Very. Um, just, I mean, a gallon of water and one drop of yellow food color. Very pale. Mm. Just a uh, faint smell of vegetation. Maybe a hint of honeysuckle give that uh, vegetation a little bit of a sweet uh, smell and uh, on the nose maybe some uh, oh, the lightest hint of pear so I expect this to be uh, just a light refreshing uh, beverage let's see for the air-conditioned weather dry. Uh, I can feel the acid. Um, mm, almost like a little effervescence in there. Um, the first thing I taste, and I thought it would be fruit forward because in the warmer climates that's generally what you taste, but on this one what's chilly, maybe it was up in the mountains where it was cooler. It's more mineral um, and vegetative and acidic and dry uh, very refreshing and I'd say uh, lime grapefruit and a drop of lemon uh, with the minerality <clears throat> the minerality like you drop maybe a stone in here and a little bit of um, grass or hay with the acid and so it had a pleasant nose and, and um, uh, a little stronger than I thought it'd be uh, not strong or any nasty not uh, off-putting to most people I don't think refreshing but it had a little more zing than I thought um, fish seafood oysters shrimp uh, salads is what you pair this one with so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, oh it, it like I said it's Pinot Gris in France, Pinot Grigio in Italy, and I wrote it down, Grau Burgunder, 
in German. So if you see that, that's the uh, same grape. Uh, interesting little story uh, behind it. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. And from Hillbilly Wine 101, uh, cheers, everybody.